QuickBooks Pro Desktop 2021. Account numbers, how to turn on and off. Let's get into it with Intuit, QuickBooks Pro Desktop 2021. Here we are on the desktop with our QuickBooks program. We also have the file we set up last time, that being the sample file, that being the QBW file. So we can open up the QuickBooks program either by double clicking on it, and it will then open the last file that was open, which for us was this last QBW file, or we can double click on the QBW file, which will open up the QuickBooks program and then the data file within it in a similar fashion as a Word document will open up the word program and then the document within it so let's do that method here we're going to be opening up our sample file now the sample file will typically open up to the home page i'll maximize the home page i have this ribbon up top so typically i like to remove the ribbon one way to do that is go to the the view tab and move to the top view and then i'm going to move that back down to the left view so that i can see the items on the left i'm then going to go to the view drop down and i want to see the open windows so now we're going to look at the account numbers now to check the account numbers you're going to go to the lists drop down and go to our chart of accounts that's where you can see a list of all of our accounts and now these have the account numbers on if they were not on then you can turn them on if they're if they're on then you can turn them off let's take a look at the setting in order to do so report we're going to go to the edit drop down preferences down into the preferences up top in the accounting there's two tabs up top in the accounting to the left we've got the my preferences and then the company preferences we have the use account numbers now by default when you set up a new company file the use account numbers is typically off why is it typically off because account numbers can mess things up a bit if you don't understand how the account account numbers should be organized in other words if you haven't thought through what the account number settings should be then your account numbers can make things out of order. So it can be easier just to turn them off. By default, they'll typically be off. So they'll be like this. And then if I was to say, okay, then we would remove the account, account numbers. And you might think, well, then the whole thing's going to go out of order. Not necessarily. It's just going to order by a different format. And it still doesn't order simply by the account numbers here or by alphabetical order, but by type. So we'll talk more about that uh, in a future presentation. We'll analyze this chart of accounts, how it will appear without account numbers and with account numbers so that we can see what the account numbers impact will have on the chart of accounts here as well as on the financial statements those being primarily the balance sheet and the income statement so then of course if you were to turn them back on you go to the edit preferences edit drop down preferences within the edit drop down accounting tab to the left my comp or company preferences to the right and then you want to turn the account numbers then back on and say okay now when the account numbers are on if you start up a new company file and even if you do not have account numbers if you used a default chart of accounts from uh from the company setup in other words you told quickbooks hey look this is the type of industry that i'm in you know i'm a retail industry or i'm a service industry they will typically give you then a chart of accounts that will be a default to that particular industry which is where most people start off with when they start to build their quickbooks file rather than building their chart of accounts completely from scratch you can build your chart of accounts from scratch and there can be some nice uses to that but most people will, will start off with basically the default chart of accounts and when you first set up the company file like i say it will not typically have the account numbers in it and then you can turn the account numbers on then you can do some analysis as to what quickbooks is doing with regards to their ranges of account numbers so i've basically put together a table here which we'll, we'll take a look at in the future based on the ranges of account numbers. And that's what we want to think about when you start to add account numbers is where am I going to put the account numbers in, in this range? And how, how, what account number should I put to a particular account, account when I set up a new account within the system? So once you have that kind of thought through, then the account numbers can be a benefit. Also note that these account numbers will be on the reports. If you go to the reports drop down. Uh, company and financial take a look at the balance sheet report one of the major financial statement reports it's reporting the report in 2025 because that's when they put the data in here and you'll see the account numbers now appearing here which again helps us to kind of sort the reports on the balance sheet and the income statement you can turn them off again you know you can turn them on and off and turn that default setting off so if i went to the edit drop down preferences accounting company preferences turned it off here and said okay then now the now the account numbers have been removed and that might change so notice it didn't change all the formatting of the entire statement because the formatting isn't actually primarily driven by the account numbers but it did 
it can change them to some degree and we'll talk about that in a future presentation how we can deal with it with those with that change so then if i go to the edit drop down preferences and accounting company preferences and i turn the account numbers back on and there we have our our accounts then we can also look at the income statement reports drop down company and financial profit and loss report for uh they got the the last month of 2025 once again account numbers on in this format another useful statement when you're considering the chart of accounts is the trial balance because it's basically the balance sheet on top of the income statement basically for the for the accounts that are in use so for that you can go to the reports drop down you can go to the accounting and taxes and trial balance and then then we have this information for the trial balance and again this looks a lot more like our chart of accounts it's basically balance sheet accounts on top of the income statement accounts so get an, so to get an idea on how to use the chart of accounts we've got to start to think about the account types and the format of the of the chart of accounts and how it's used and why it's used that way in order to help format the trial balance the income statement and the balance sheet and then we can start to group our chart of accounts and start to think about how the, the chart of accounts will be um, you know the account numbers will be useful to us